Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. I've had another seed shared with me, and this one apparently was uh, my, my, my main man, Cam Demand, scored 160 on this run blind. So we're going to see if we can keep up with Cam Demand's skills with this potentially amazing run. As always, if you uh, want to try it yourself, I've linked the seed in the description below. And if you don't know how to uh, mod in uh, different seeds into the game and stuff, uh, feel free to join the Discord. We have a whole little section describing how it's done. So, without further ado, let's look at what the cards are. Okay, Titanium Production, Points Per Jovian, pretty... Oh my god, and then you throw in the Anti-Grav and AI Central. Um... Throw in artificial photosynthesis, potentially natural preserve, and then an indentured worker. And I'm, I'm honestly also looking at building industries. Like, this is so many cards. But if we get two energy production, right, we can turn that into two steel production, which will for sure be useful to get AI central downrange. The second science tag is natural preserve. Maybe we can build that first. Vesta Shipyard's gonna be important. The problem is that none of our other cards actually need titanium up front, but it still is worth a dollar of production, so I feel like I'm grabbing too much, but there's no way I'm not gonna take points per Jovian on a high score Jovian run. So I think I'd really like to do this and get the energy happening real quick. And then if we turn this energy into steel production, we'll have a good thing going because we can use it on natural preserve. Or I can build natural preserve uh, for steel and have enough, right? This is 15, so as long as I get one steel. Okay, we'll do that. Take this spot here. And we'll do this with two of the steel. So, our first turn, we only have, you know, an energy production, two steel, and two dollars. Not great. Oh, and a titanium, because we start with a titanium production. Oh, we're in a decent spot, for sure. Um, there's Olympus Conference, and a fuel factory, and a mine. Wow, the, the productions. So, I don't know how I'm going to get another... Uh, energy production because I'm gonna lose one right now for fuel factory for sure so we're gonna have to keep our eyes open and I also kind of regret building uh, the natural preserve just because that could have been pretty useful um, as a science tag towards Olympus conference but that's fine that's fine AI central is now on the the docket we can go after that we just need energy first, which, yikes a clock, but we still got Earth Office, and this would be a good turn to, I mean, yeah, we don't have the energy for Immigrant City and stuff, so I'm going to just go with Earth Office, build it, and get Vesta. And I could do more with my $11, like buy an energy production or something, but I think it's best to just wait on this, and uh, we'll see what comes up. We have a lot of metals coming in. I'm really hoping for advanced alloys. Come on. Nope. But we did get the energy production I was craving. And an ore processor might help us actually win this game. Um, so let's, let's maybe grab that just to have. We definitely need to build this first. I don't think I can get AI Central this turn, though. No. I mean, I'm gonna float a bunch of cash so I can get it next turn. Turn 5 AI Central is pretty great. I think, if you ask me. So. And there's Advanced Alloys. Perfect. And Inventor's Guild. And Power Supply. I'm actually maybe just going to pray that we get better energy from something else. 
And advanced alloys, I don't actually get much value out of right away. I mean, until I find anything to do with titanium. No, we'll grab the power supply consortium, because it could help. Um, so... How do I do this? Because I want advanced alloys... But I want Olympus Conference, and I want AI Central. But all together, that's $37. And with my steel being worth 9 I'd have 35 So I can't do it all. So I'm going to have to delay Advanced Alloys in favor of getting cards. Let's not use the steel, though. Yeah, we're gonna use a minimal amount of steel and hope that we get some sort of building card. Like, who knows? I bet you we'll get, uh... What's it called? Earth... Not Earth. Mars University. And there's asteroid mining, so that's pretty good. Except, we need something to use our titanium on. It's We're gonna have nine titanium worth four apiece. Right? Like, that's... It's a lot. <laughs> And now we're getting asteroids, perfect. And sponsors is good as well. We definitely need to up our income. Oh, we got deep well, that's nice. So I still want um, our ability to have advanced alloys because it's gonna it's gonna pay itself off pretty quick. Um, I really want to get sponsors, but then I have to overpay in steel and overpay in titanium, and that's not worth it. I, I save more money by not overpaying. So let's get this going. I'm actually going to get the fuel generator going. Because then next turn, I think what I can do... And yeah, we'll overpay in Titanium, but just because we have so much of it. Getting the TR is big. I was thinking we might want to wait on like an event coming in, but... Jeez, we could actually play Ganymede Colony for 5 Titanium, and that might be worth it. Just because it gets us some money income. It feels weak though, because I could just as easily turn around and maybe get something better. But I'm actually going to do it, because I'm. every dollar really counts when you go down the discount track. We have five science. Am I an idiot? Could have I had anti-grab? No, I'm still one away. So, it's fine. We are going to need heat. I'm, I'm expecting Deimos down and all the other big cards, though, for such a high point run. This is good. So, I got up to 4 energy production for a reason, or processor. Oh, I guess I should have grabbed my cards first. I'll, I'll grab them now, but... Pets. Pets could have been good before playing Ganymede, but obviously we don't have anything to do it with right away. Asteroid. I'm gonna overspend by a dollar. I definitely want these two cards. Oh, we just got Io. That's a big deal. Hmm. And this is another science tag. We are going to get to our cost reduction. But since we have Io, I think it's best to just go for titanium. $14. I guess we get... Sponsors is an income... I think we're going to have to get Sponsors and Mining Area next turn, because those are good incomes, but for now the Mining Consortium is a dollar and a Titanium, and that's just more than two dollars, especially because we have Advanced Alloys. Oh, baby. Yeah, I wish I didn't build Ganymede Colony at this point, because that would be twenty dollars I could put into IO pretty quickly. Beam from Athorium is also really good for us. 
and convoy. Too bad we didn't get those ones for free and we're able to skip out on the rest. So can we rush out IO? We can. I'm gonna jump right into it. I know I need it. I know I want it. It might not be the highest rate of return possible, but it's pretty up there, I'm pretty sure. Now, if we do this for a steal and a dollar, we can get a steal income, which is fine. Like, having all titanium income is great, but you will run out of space cards. And now we get this, so we get a little more income. What a run. What a just delightful experience to do. We're drawing a bunch of cards every round, we're generating energy and oxygen, which is... The oxygen is honestly where Saturn systems can really struggle, so it's nice to see it going well. How many energy tags do I have? Three? I mean, cloud seeding could be good too, but... I, I want cities at one point. I'm really struggling to accomplish one of my goals, though. And that goal is, can we please, please get a, uh, a discount going on? Like, I have the science tags required, right? One, two, three, right? But it, they're just so expensive. How do I go out of my way to do that? Oh, I don't need that energy card. I was worried about having enough energy for my city, but if I buy Beam from a Thorium, we're good. I definitely want this bad boy, because that gets us the heat bump that I've been waiting to do forever to get us that heat production. Then the Beam from a Thorium is really good production. I really need that freaking $2 discount on everything, though. Can't help but feel like I screwed up somehow in getting it earlier. And I could have gotten that titanium. Oopsies. And then the underground city is going to be quite nice. Uh, part of me wonders if just going for cards is good, but I'm going to need to be on this side of the board to get scooping up of plants happening. Oh, I could have had pets. Yeah, it's my bad. Yeah, I messed up this turn in like three or four different ways, all of which kind of upset me. Let's do Inventor's Guild. Asteroid Mining. Don't mind if I get that next turn. And I'm going to get rid of Insulation because I don't think our heat's going to go super hot very well. And let's just peek. Callisto Penal Mines, we'll buy it. Because that's awesome for us. Jovian. Jovian. So, now our productions are in a good spot, like heat wise. We don't have any plants coming in. Water imports from Europa. Oh my god. And there's Lagrange. NGHG. I like fusion power as well, but this is the last one we need. So, draw some more cards. So, by buying you, I can then buy discounts. Because this is going to add up real quick. Like, I ne you need to get your discount cards in. Um, oh, we have Solar Wind now. Damn. And then Asteroid Mining's really going to be top tier. We have an extra energy. Did I not? I did it again, where I don't do my titanium click first. And then this extra bit of money I would have, had I done the titanium click, screws me over. Because now I need to sell cards to be able to afford... Uh, to buy a card if I get one I really like with this, which I do, so. 
Okay. We have 16 heat in hand. That's gonna go well. Ugh, it's a good thing we have a lot of money coming in. And by that I mean, like, titanium and the like. So shuttles is more cost reduction. Research outpost is more cost reduction. Cartels, six bucks to get four income. Three times is technically good. Um, so let's draw a card. Media group, nice. Let's pump the oxygen up to five. And look at a card. Quantum, there we go. So... So we do quantum. We need to do, or I want to do, shuttles. Oh, I should have, before doing quantum, done research outpost. I'm gonna overspend in steel, because we have lots of steel and we're short on all the other caches. Okay, okay, okay. So that means I can play some things for free like media group if i play pets before cartels i get an additional income but that's kind of i just don't have enough money definitely want shells this is one titanium to get two because we have the reductions up the wazoo. I am gonna do pets. I'm not sure. I like I this is I've already built three cities at this point, and I've had pets for so long that how could you how could you do this? <laughs> but now I mean don't get me wrong, Terraform Ganymede is a freaking great card. I think we want I think I want oceans and cards here, but I'm trying to figure out exactly how to go about it. Because we're getting some heat back and some money back from our media group, so like we're actually making profit here. Maybe I can make this pocket this turn. I don't mind flooding for a card. Well, the question is, should I just use this? Because if we can buy oceans for 12 bucks, which is titanium that we can use because we have lots of titanium, that's probably the way to go. And we're going to get into this nook. Like, so now our money's... Like, we're not going infinite, but like... Our turns are really long, despite not having that much cash. Um, we're out of titanium. Too fun. Mm. I don't think buying, getting energy production is that hot for us, but at the same time, I'm like, wouldn't it be nice to just do it anyway? Because I could get this $2 one and the $15 one, and that would be eight tags, so it would be a lot of energy. Meanwhile, imported nitrogen would go well with GHG producing bacteria. 13 and 5 is 18. I'm a dollar away. But I think I can do it, honestly. Because the science site gets me a card. And then I'm going to sell flooding. Because I can buy oceans without losing points at this point. And then, when I do this, which I don't have a one-point animal, so I'm losing a point, because I'm only getting one point for every two animals. 
Uh, but it's fine, you know, get a little bit of money back. Then I can do this bump. Now we have another card that gives microbes. And I'll buy an energy production just in case something comes up. I don't know what I'm going to do about the oxygen. Like, we're we're ahead on the oxygen because I'm pumping it up by one step every generation. But, like, we, we have more to go than that. Man, the points are out, uh, outrageous. A lot of points to be had here. Even the urbanized area is, is cool, but it's not great. Well, it gives us a half point on pets, too. Yeah, we have enough steel that we just need the cards for it, really. So what if I... started with the domed crater and put it here because I often end up with cities in these two locations. Then, one, two, three, one, two, uh, wherever I put a, in, like a, a city in between, oh I should draw my cards first. Not gonna get Saleta. Uh, let's pump the oxygen now. So now I want that city to go in between. It cost me seven, so two and a dollar. Okay. I think I want to demos down. I just don't have a use for the steel. So maybe not. I definitely want an ocean for cheap. So, and if we put it here, I can put a greenery down in a pretty cute spot. That gets us a heat bump. We have a heat bump. We're working it. I wish I had a couple more microbes, but even this only gets me two, so it's not really that big a deal. We have a lot of money. Holy crap. I don't know why I'm being so frugal. Let's let's just do Damos down. I'm not planning on turning a titanium into a point. Uh, though maybe I should have been with Security Fleet. It just seems sketchy when there's so many Jovians to buy and stuff. We have a couple more turns left, so it is probably worth doing this. Getting the plant production, getting the microbes. Microbes turn into a heat bump. And then methane from Titan is another good example of... Probably should do this. Um, I like all these energy tag cards. Just because they're so cheap. They don't actually give me much is the problem. So I'm like, you get an energy, you're a point. This one's also a point, but I can use a steel to buy it. Um, Artificial Lake, I didn't even realize I had that, to be honest. To be perfectly honest. I like putting the Artificial Lake in this nook. Or in this nook. I'm gonna do it. And I am gonna put it in this nook because it just makes filling up these oceans a little bit less painful. And then I'm gonna go here. So this is a triple. <laughs> Triples are good. Small animals are fine. It'll be like a point. And then, yeah, I should have done the security fleet. But. Just, again, it's so hard when you're like, I want titanium for oceans, I want titanium for uh, my terraforming Ganymede, I want my, oh, like, it, there's a lot of things. Like, I have Callisto in my hand. 
Uh, we don't need ice cap melting. Well, it's kind of free, isn't it? So, I'll do it. It saves us titanium, right? Uh, bushes, kelp farming is fine. And we draw cards. We're hoping for, like, some space event. Or this. Lake Marineris is not something we really need. Um, this could be worth... A it's free to play. You buy it. And then you get the money back, so it's not worth not buying. Card resources, okay. Invention contest. Space elevator. So really good use of our stuff. Um, I'm gonna do this oxygen bump. No physics complex. I was really expecting a physics complex by now. Bushes and kelp farming both can be played. I can't imagine not playing them. It's only generation 13. Jeez. This is a good run. <laughs> this is a really good run. I really want that ocean. I think instead of going for a half... Point. Well, this is worth... Ugh. Let's see. If I put an extra animal on my animals, then it'll be worth another point at the end of the game. So, like, I feel like that's the definite way to go. Hmm... I just I want that ocean and this ocean, like, now, not later. I guess I do a heat bump. What do we have? Fifth, like, this is like three heat bumps next turn. One, two, three. And then there's the fact that this microbe, I'll have enough on that. So, okay, I'll, I'll buy a single heat bump, because I don't think that's going over. And if it is, then I screwed up, but I wanted the ocean. I can't get both oceans. I mean, maybe it'll even be worth playing Lake Marineris just for the thing. Oh, we should go for a card over here. I was I wanted that ocean really bad, so I could put a greenery in between them, but getting a card, like Noctis farming. Maybe I buy another greenery. Just because I know I'm going to buy them. I get money back. I get the steel. I have a use for the steel. Hmm. We have a lot of titanium. We have a lot of titanium. Basically, I need more card draw. And then I should have done this last turn, but I will do the security fleet. Oh, and we'll put the thing on it. We do not want to buy an ocean. Huh. CEO's favorite project is probably only going to be worth a point, but no sense playing it right away. I guess I just take 18 bucks into the next round. There's not much I can do with it that has, like, a, a rate of return that makes it needed now. How many Jovians do we have, anyway? Ten. Oh. Oh, I can't wait to play Terraforming Ganymede. It's gonna be dope. Algae. Hey, there's an animal, so we can do something somewhere else. Let's get more cards, please. Dev Center. Coppola can't be played. Um, let's get the Dev Center. And draw a card. We get a card for free, yeah. And then we draw a card.
Protected Valley. Had I known that was coming, I could have planned differently, but... Okay, let's just do our clicks. One... Two... Three... Oh, we still need another heat bomb. No, we don't, because we have this one. Yeah, it was planned. We mapped it. Um, animal, titanium, steel, where am I going to put that protected valley, right? Like, I'm going to build it, right? Not sure. I think I want that ocean down there, though. I, I'm really struggling with it. This ocean has two adjacencies that are already in and one that'll go. This one has an adjacency here. I mean, I could just build the protected valley in this spot. But I guess the protected valley up there. Ugh, it's so hard. Let's just be uh, safe and build it here. And put the greenery in the pocket. Because that's just a lot of adjacency. Um, this is definitely going to be paid for mostly using titanium. And does this, do we have enough? Okay, so we can overpay and have this be completely free. So we don't need to do this oxygen action, but I can't imagine not doing it. Uh, what to do? Let's do Eos Chasma, because that's obviously powerful. Did it put one on animals? Did I screw up? I did. Well, whatever. I'll put one on small animals. We have a hundred and something dollars left. That's absurd. We're trying to figure out if we're going to get like a card draw. I don't think we are. I want algae. Maybe if I build a city here, that'll make a lot of sense. It doesn't look like it makes sense, but it shares a couple of adjacencies. And then I can play Protected Valley. Which, I don't know why, it's slightly cheaper than an actual greenery. And then, if I do this, gets me up to eight, I can go here in between. So greenery is worth three points right now for $23, if I build it here. We've won the game, because I built all those greeneries. So as cities were two points down here... Had I waited on that greenery, I could have actually built it into this pocket. Ah. Well, greenery here's worth two points, and a city here's worth two points, so it's kind of... Either way, I'm not getting another card. So our TR is now absurd. Um, if I buy a greenery for two points, then I think I can still get two points from... This bad boy, Lake Marineris. Okay, and that's everything. All of this can just be sold, but $7 doesn't give me anything. Let's see how we did. It's a casual 74 points on cards. Oh, damn. We're not going to get up to 16 plants, so anywhere that's adjacent is fine. 
Oh, baby. Let's see it. There's a lot of greens on the freaking board, too. Like, 12 points, 19 points. Oh, my God. 173. What a run. Absolutely fantastic. If you see optimizations or think you could have run it differently or think of all the mistakes I made, I, I highly suggest you try this one yourself. I had a great time. I'm sure you will too. It's just a pleasure to operate runs that go this smoothly. Though, you know, there's something to be said for struggling to win as well. So that's why you got to keep the blind ones going. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the seed. It'll be linked down below and uh, linked to the Discord as well if you don't know how to mod. See you next time. Cheers.